Mr. Merton was very distressed throughout the session. He arrived early, exclaiming that his house had been broken into, but there were no signs of forced entry. He told me of his theory that the bread was somehow responsible for the incidents. It is clearly not real, and I'm having trouble coming to a suitable solution for him. His fixation on blaming a slice of toast must be some sort of manifestation of his hate for the council. Mr. Merton's condition is now severe. I'm recommending daily sessions for his own safety. It is preposterous to think that bread moves of its own accord. Bread does not walk. Bread is not alive.